I did. No. It did actually have both there. All right. So I make a motion that we establish the Street Vending Ad Hoc Committee, SVAHC, and uh, we put it on the agenda as establishing it. Then next Wednesday we can come up with who wants to serve, who wants to chair, who wants to co-chair. Okay. With that, I call for the vote, Mr. Secretary. Um, so you um, by end of the year? No. no. Two months. Findings? No. Yeah, and we very okay. much want to get an so impact statement on it. With, uh, with, with, with report due back to V and NC. Yeah. Okay, how about uh, establish street vending ad hoc committee with report due back to V and NC. With status report. Do back to VNNC by August meeting. When, uh, how it, should, it just should be the status. If the report, that means it has to be yeah, status. With status. Yes. Right. Yeah. Status, status due back to Van Nuys Neighborhood Council. Within 30 days. No, next board meeting. Oh, okay. by, by next board meeting. Or actually by, executive meeting. By oh. June. By June. Why, why, why don't we give it 60 days and say by the July general meeting? No, by executive meeting. By, the, by July executive, executive meeting. meeting. So it's like you have 45 days ish. Okay, seconded. Okay, so perfect. Um, Mr. Secretary, I call for the vote. Okay, President Thomas. Yes. Vice President Yes. Treasurer Hopp. Aye. Secretary Hendry. Aye. Mr. Rosario. Aye. Aye. Passes five zero. Very good. Moving on. Um, eight H. Funding request for the Mid Valley Community Police Council to support the Special Olympics for the LAPD. Um, this is in regards to outreach, printing of t-shirts, and to help pay for the t-shirts so the Van Nuys officers can participate in the Law Enforcement Special Olympics torch run. All proceeds will go to the Special Olympics. Can we, can we say not to exceed? Like yeah, we can put not to exceed 2,500 and then whatever number we can come up with for them. We can do 1,500 then if we say that? Was it, no, I, I, that they they asked to have at least 2,500 voted upon. Um, we funded 2,500 in the past few years. If we don't have the money, we don't have the money. But just out of All right. normal respect for them, we didn't I would say 2,500. We, we didn't have enough money. <laughs> I uh, make a we'll motion. Give the vendor, we'll give the vendor all you for. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You. Tuesday. For hamburger today. <laughs> um, so 8H. Yes, Mr. Hopp. You, you guys are bad. Is that part of your uh, association you belong to? It is the association. But I will not be voting on it. No. It, it. Oh. But you can't mention it. I can't even mention it? You can. Okay, so. Or you can do whatever you so choose. So that Howard, if yeah. you would um, sure, let's, uh, let's discuss 8H. As I have to yes. recuse myself because I am okay. a member of the. All right, so we need a funding request for Mid Valley Police Council to support yeah. Special Olympics through the LAPD, not to exceed twenty-five hundred dollars for T-shirts and uh, torch run. Second. Don't we have already the request? Yeah, but we can't vote on it, Joseph, because okay. of our affiliation. Okay. True. Sure. Call for the vote. <coughs> okay. Those who those who are recusing remind me. President Thomas? Uh, I recuse myself from the vote. Okay. Vice President Pinchot? Yes. Treasurer Hawk? Aye. Secretary Hendry? Aye. Mr. Rosero? I recuse myself. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hawk. Thank you very much on that. Um, uh, eight I. Rosero? Two. The VNNC light pole banners need to be replaced. Discussion and debate. The people are asking for $2,500. It includes the permits, Three. it includes taking them down and putting new ones up. Anyone have anything many, on this? How many are we talking about? All of them? He's of them? he's fishing no, 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 for all of them to be redone. Oh, okay. Mr. Hopp. If I'm not mistaken, and you ask the city attorney, cities don't need to get permits from themselves. I pay for it. Uh, I, I, I'm questioning this whole thing anyhow. Because that the city of Burbank was having a, in, many years ago was having an infight with each other with agencies. I don't have any authority right now, but that... I question the legality. I, 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 example, you think this guy's like, like trying to hustle us? I think yes. No, 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 I think For 997 at least. 
uh, say the city of Los Angeles files a lawsuit, civil lawsuit, they're exempt under the code, under the government code. Mm -hmm. To pay for the filing? Paying the filing fee and so forth. I, I would really find it interesting if that's the case. But uh, if you could ask the city attorney for the uh, authority for that. Yeah, we're chartered by the city of Los Angeles. Why does the city of Los Angeles char charge a charter? Why don't we ask the vendor? Maybe he just. Uh, uh, I, I don't know who this no, guy even no, is. No, he, he, me either, but he sent the email and said it was $997 that he spent. No, no, that was only for the permit. Just, and he, he said that they they actually ran through June, but it, uh, that meant he would have to wait till next year's funding. And rather than worry about that, he went ahead and took it upon himself to spend the money for those permits. He's already paid the $997, so he claims. Ooh. But we, I don't know, the city, I guess. But but like I said, I got the email. I'm looking at this going, oh, really? So I, I, I don't know. Don't look at me, man. I'm just telling you what I got. Yeah, well, I did. That's why I'm saying so. So this. should we put it on the agenda and then take a fine-tooth comb to... Uh, yeah. Unless he pays for renting the pole. Yeah, well, that's what I'm it's saying. I don't understand. It's possible he's looking to get permits for his own business. He's got, like, special invoices and permits that he does. Well, maybe he needs you know, a but permit. But we, we're not going to be his... Yeah. Maybe yeah. he needs a permit. Yeah, he needs Do mm -hmm. we need yes. a permit? No, I think he needs a permit. Okay, but we don't, then we're not going to... permit cover? When you build on your house, does the permit cover the contractor or you, the the homeowner? You, the homeowner. That's the issue. Mm. That's what permits. It's it's for the uh, because the vendor is your agent. But that's what we're saying. How can how can the city charge us? I, I don't know. That's that's. If we're problem. under the charter, we're, we shouldn't be having to pay. We don't. I don't know. I think something's very fishy here. I do too. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> We'll get to the bottom of this puppy. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, uh, yeah, I think I, that's I would what it like is. to adopt the motion uh, as is and then take a look and put this guy in the hot seat and see what he has to say. No, I agree. Seconded the, the motion. Is. No, because okay, I think so, uh, uh, he wants us to be as Joseph Bessie. Lazarovitz seconded it. We uh, call for the vote, Mr. Secretary. For 8I, the VNNC light pole banners need to re be replaced, not to exceed 2500 President Thomas. Yes. Vice President Benjamin. Yes. Treasurer Hopp. Aye. Secretary Hendry. Aye. Mr. Lazarus. Aye. Passes 5-0. Okay, we'll, we'll do that right after through these. Um, next, uh, the uh, honorable and esteemed uh, former councilman Candido Moraz asked for us to put a readoption of the Code of Civility on the agenda. And uh, as we are completely transparent all the time, I told him I'd be happy to put that on. Uh, but I did add the three strikes and you're out um, language. I was talking to Donna before the meeting, and she says the city of LA will give you three strikes and then you're banned for a month or something. Yeah. So I would like to come up with the rules or procedures of giving someone a strike and then. I'm happy if they do receive three strikes in one meeting, that they would be not allowed to come back for a month. Is the, are the strikes cumulative from month to month, or do, are they dismissed after the, the, the one meeting? Is Don I, I don't know, because I know somebody that could have had three strikes in one meeting alone. Mrs. Lynn, who looks at me and says, you know what, every single meeting, at least two or three times, and several people have noticed it, not just me. Are they carryover strikes, Donna? Do you remember? Um, I believe so, yeah. They were carryover I, strikes. They they make sense. That lasts. They, then they couldn't come back for a month. They have to be cumulative. <coughs> I, I, you know. I have a question about that. Um, how, 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 don't move your chair because you keep pulling that plug and I want you to get stuck in the phone. Every time you move your chair, you okay. work the blackboard. Um, I have a question. So, example, I'm going all off. You tell me to sit down. I'm like, okay, so what? I'm going all off. You tell me that's strike two. So what? I'm going all off. You tell me strike three. Get out. Okay, cool. So <laughs> that is Paul that's going to put me out? Because you know after a while, yeah, the police department, they come okay. in, they meet, greet, da 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 And then, because our meetings are so long, they have to go through what they have to do. So Paul is our so sergeant at arms, right? Correct. So Paul is going to put me out. And Paul has a new taser. Okay, wait. 
<laughs> Does he really? <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, I hope he brings it. From my job with the state, okay, our security guards, you can cuss us out blue, throw stuff at us, do what you want to do. Our security guard cannot put hands on you. You could be a, our security guard could be a witness to what she's doing, could try to say, lady, calm down, whatever the That's why we want LAPD. Now, that's a state employee, okay? Now, you mean to tell me, I'm going on off, and I tell you to hell with you. And then you tell Paul to come up here and strong arm me and make me walk out that door. So when I knock him out, who's responsible? Or yeah. is he? Now, I'm just being honest. I want to give y'all both signs. I, I believe that what has to take place is that, that Paul has uh, to call 911. Say that we have an unruly individual within okay. a council meeting. We yeah, request a police presence. So you can you can tell me to leave, but I tell you to go to hell because I don't have to leave. So Paul, I'm still yelling. Da, 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 da. So can Paul? Let's go. And now I just fell out loud. Now uh, y'all don't hang me because he pulled my arm and I'm hurt my shoulder. There's a I no mean, touch. Where is it? Okay. So he's just gonna please, please calm down, please calm down, and make sure he's calling nine one one until the police get there. Correct. Exactly. Okay. I mean, there has to be a protocol, but the fact is that we're setting up this this code of civility mm -hmm. to include three strikes so that there is justable, just justifiable, cause, justifiable cause for this thing. Yes, Mr. Hobb. Well, it, it has to be the sergeant of arms. It has to be the sergeant of arms. There's a case, uh, if Don was here, regarding a gentleman named Zuma Dog. I know. Wonderful individual. Right. And uh, they uh, had problems with enforcing. Yeah, he's, uh, he's on the Venice uh, Council, uh, as I come to think about it. He is? Yes. Uh, he, he was asked to leave. David Salzburg. Yeah, yeah. He, he was asked to leave, and he Can has. Have, it may ask, I'm sorry for interrupting. We actually have a problem. Yes. Yeah, we do. We okay. Yeah. Richard, I you mean, haven't been here, so you haven't yeah. seen a lot of the things no, from, I mean, from uh, Sherman Oaks. I, 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 actually, what, what I've been bodily threatened. George has been threatened with. I a have stick. been many times. Does, so does this ring Kathleen a bell? Kathleen was grabbed. Some other people were grabbed. Is Moses followed? Um, the code's very clear. I've had flat tires and three three new dents on my car, and someone cut cut the uh, valve stem on my husband's. I didn't know you got tire slashed too. Welcome to the club. Yeah, yeah, isn't that wonderful? Cost us six hundred and fifty bucks. We've requested it. We'll 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 emphatically request it. Or just hold it at the police station. What? So eight J. Very. That was, yeah. that was uncalled for and very She yeah. got like this. Yeah. yeah. We want to make sure that it's a real threatened thing and not just uh, someone you know. just making it up. You know. Nobody so let, let's adopt the language as is, is and then know. since we we're sending out in the we're council. sending stuff to the attorney the city attorney anyway, we can sure. ask about this. I'll second this. Okay, so uh, Mr. Secretary, I call for the vote. <coughs> Kathleen. Something should be done to at least make the, the stakeholders not to cuss, not to be well, That's That's kind of, the, kind of what we're establishing. That, that's that's the point. That yeah. is, I, I, I know. I get tired of having someone say F huh? me three or four times a meeting. We're going to go off of uh, what's happened before with the uh, city of LA and what they do with Donna when she gets out of line. Okay, if they say that that's, that's, Maria. We're voting on a motion. Maria, if they say that that's cutting into their freedom of speech, it's not. Because even though it's not illegal to swear, there is something called the code of civility. There is decorum, and they're, they're violating that. And you have the right to tell them that they are out of line when they do that, period. Can you swear in a nice way? Yeah, oh, okay. like like I can say, oh, you're such a sweetheart. You, oh, okay. fuck <laughs> no, you should see her every single meeting. Yeah, and you yeah, read no, her lips as plain as day. Mrs. Hop, Mrs. Hop, Mrs. Hop has a fan club. We're taking. Oh, I got a big okay, fan club, man. On the floor, it's been seconded. We're voting on it, Mr. Secretary. President Trump. Yes. Vice President. Yes. Hi. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, I got this request oh, no for 2500 to the cleanup of the yeah, Van Nuys Station we LAPD. Funny request, well, we got them all up above, so. Perimeter in conjunction no, with Mid Valley. Let's let's from out Penelope. Um, it's for the 50th anniversary in the station of the station and the library. So because of our affiliation, can we put that one on next? Thank you. All right. Um, next up, next up for the agenda. All right. We have a request for twenty-five hundred dollars. Uh, I'm sorry, for two hundred and fifty dollars, not to exceed two hundred and fifty dollars, to clean up the Van Nuys Police Station area surrounding the pergola, and the perimeter in conjunction with the. Uh, um, no. Mid Valley Community Police Council. Mid Valley Community Police Council, for the fiftieth anniversary of the police station and the library. Um, Two hundred and fifty dollars. I thought it was twenty five hundred dollars. No, no. This is this is two hundred and fifty dollars to pull weeds. Clean up. Um, just uh, yeah. Well, we we'll get the people in jail over there to do it. Yeah. They have to do community service. Come on. Well. Yeah. Let them do it. We have to abstain from the vote. Yes, I know. All right. So I call for the vote. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Can I the I remember friends who were refusing to. Yes. They yes. just said it. President Thomas? I recuse myself from the vote. Vice President Benjamin? Yes. Treasurer Hopp? I guess. Secretary Hendry, <laughs> aye. Mr. Lazarevitz? I recuse myself. Thank you. It passes. Very good. And that would be three to zero. Yes. All right, next up, we'll get to yours. Let me just go through this real quick, Howard. Uh, vote and elect on a new chairman and or co-chairman for the Parks and Recreation Committee. Uh, these are new ones new, new, that new. were not on the executive meeting agenda. Um, we, As you all know, Candito was the chairman of the Parks and Recreation Committee. Um, to my knowledge, in my four and a half years on the board, I've never seen a Parks and Recreation Committee agenda. Or um, I've never seen an email in regards to it, and I've never seen a posting. Or any minutes. Um, I propose that the new chairman uh, be trained in the Ralph and Brown Act and go by all the proper procedures. Uh, Candito expressed an interest that uh, John Camara no way. chair the committee. No. Um, no way. A council member, which will remain yeah. uh, unnamed, suggested we bring this to a vote, and I thought that was a fantastic idea. Um, so I make a motion that we adopt the language, vote and elect a new chairman you? and or co-chairman for the Parks and Maria? Recreation Committee. Maria, did you have something? You have um, the director, or maybe a manager or something, and a millennial clerk. Okay. to come and sit on the board and take over that red Parks and Rec. Well, is he going to take just his park or all the parks? They want to sit the all of to them sit on the board. He wants, he wants to become a board member too, or on the ad hoc committee. Are they affiliated with the schools? Because the school rep is up now that Indra's gone. Do they have any affiliation with schools? Indra, Indra, Chicarelli. Okay. But there can be a chair. So I will tell her about it. There can be on the committee. She translates. She sat there and translated and did everything for her. Right. But, she, she but since it's a standing committee, it has to be a, a council person that chairs it. Yes. So we we have uh, nine days to uh, mill over this. But uh, I make a motion that we adopt the language as is. Seconded. With that, I call for the vote. Okay. President Benjamin? I mean, President Thomas? Back. Yes. Back. Next. <laughs> yes. Aye. Secretary Hendry, aye. Aye. Aye, aye. Very good. The next thing up is vote and elect on second signatory for the VNNC. Uh, Maria, you don't want to serve anymore? No. Thank you. Okay, so I think we should bring this to a vote before the full council. Uh, Mr. Benjamin is completely trained in this and uh, has expressed an interest in serving as the second signatory. Um, we still have to go through the proper procedures. So yes, I make a motion that we adopt the language as yes, is, vote and elect on second signatory for VNNC. Yes. Do I have a second? Yes. All right, with that I call for the vote, Mr. Secretary. President Thomas? Yes. Vice <clears throat> President Benjamin? Yes. Treasurer Hopp? Aye. Secretary Hendry, aye. Mr. Lazarus? Aye. 
Howard, all you have to do is go down to the Dunn office and fill out some paperwork. All right, um, Derek uh, had the suggestion, but then wandered off that we vote on and approve a National Kids Day based on the celebration of children and all they do for the families of Van Nuys and America. Do we want to uh, take the lead in a Kids Day? Sure, sure. Right? Yeah. Can you imagine this makes national news? Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, we're celebrating kids that get into gangs, right? do celebrate graffiti. Uh, yeah. All right, so the language would be vote on and approve a National Kids Day based on the celebration of children and all they do for the families of Van Nuys and across America. You can do it nationally, you can do it for Van Nuys. But we're hoping that it snowballs. Oh, uh, yeah. The but the wording do we want do we want to pick a specific date like there's not a lot of stuff going on in August right August really doesn't have a but they're out of school then yeah which would be even more reason to celebrate them sure. yeah. right yeah go back to school no like, they, it could be <laughs> about you, they have, they have to go <coughs> what do you think like the first Monday or it should, it should be on the weekend because Father's Monday. Day is on Sunday Mother's Day is on Sunday Mother's Day is this week isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So maybe um, the first Sunday, the first Sunday in August is what we propose, right? But there, sure. Because there's not much going on in August anyway. Sunday in August. The first no, Sunday in August. I'd do it in either September or October. October only September has. September has Labor Day in October. I understand, but it only has Halloween. Big deal. August is good. August is good. What do you care? Because they're not going to be in school, and it's it, they'll do something in you the have schools. To celebrate your adult children too. The, the, the idea is they'll be in school, and the schools will pick that. Pick it up and run with it if Sunday, they can do something for the Sunday, school. No school on Ooh, yeah, but you, the teachers will use the that. teachers will use it though as a means by which the kids to do projects for it and and artwork and and you know whatever. So you really want it to be while they're in school. Well, let, let's why don't we discuss and debate the date? All right, we'll discuss and, and debate, debate like the September date. September or October, either one. But we'll adopt the language, vote on and approve a National Kids Day based on the celebration of children and all they do for the families of Van Nuys and across America. So second. All right, uh, Mr. Secretary, I call for the vote. Okay, just to say, President yes. Vice President Benjamin? Yes. Yeah. Treasurer Hoff? Aye. Secretary Hendry, aye. Mr. Reserves? Aye. Bye bye. Very good. I know Carino had two things he wanted on the agenda, and then Mr. Benjamin has a few things. Oh my God. Carino, um, longer and longer and longer. the first one is the project on Vos <laughs> and Van Nuys, the elderly care. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's been approved through uh, the Plum Committee, so it's uh, the next stage is. Board. And who's their rep? Is it Dana? Yes. Dana. 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 Okay. Um, so I'm, and you sent me the language on that. Okay. So, um, okay, perfect. I, I make a motion that we approve the exact language that came out of Carino's Plum Committee um, and have Dana come and give us a presentation next Wednesday. Second. All right, I call for the vote, Mr. Secretary. Uh, no, I just have a, a general um, comment on that. The, the, the term approve as used by the board and the committees is, um, I believe, uh, inappropriately applied. For example, the Plum Committee has no authority to approve or not approve anything. It's it really going on Saturday. Authority to support or not support. Good and I point. The same is true for the board in general. When you vote on this, like you don't have any authority to approve or not approve uh, items like this, but merely state support or not. That's absolutely right. Um, so the I would amend the motion and have it say support the project, and then the language that Karina sends. Second. Mr. Secretary. Thomas. Yes. Yes. C. Yeah, I. Secretary Hendry, I deserve it. I'm getting tired. Okay, uh, Karina, what was the second thing coming out of your committee? Um, what is uh, uh, Ciclavia and uh, People Street doing the parklets? Uh, I mean, I had a meeting with uh, Nuri last week in, in proposing it, and she's all for it. Uh, it's just that uh, in our last plump committee, uh, um, the board suggested that we should bring it to general meeting as far as the location of the parklet 
And also, uh, uh, during this time, I was thinking that maybe we should do like a open competition in someone designing the parklet, as far as uh, you know, some uh, young and upcoming designer. Or have it go through the high school or something like that. Something like that, or even in uh, community colleges or mm -hmm. architect schools. So how would you like the language for the agenda? Um, well, there's a couple things. Uh, um, I'd like to get some uh, funding to do some outreach, like flyers. I don't know what's on money. We have to wait for the, new, uh, the next budget. Well, it's not going to be. Uh, oh, okay. It's not going to be more than five thousand dollars. But we are no, going to have to wait for next. But it's going to have to be next we're budget. We're, we're already over budget now with what we've got right here. I can guarantee it. Well, as far as uh, doing outreach, I do need to have some flyers to send to some of the. Uh, what you need to do is give me a workup of what you want and we can either go and have it printed at the little guy where I had our name plates and all that stuff done or we can just do it on the computer and I can go the outreach has already been approved and this is definitely outreach anyway so yeah. we wouldn't have to re-vote on it if no, you just go through just, Jeanette that's what I'm saying yeah. we just need the, the 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 item itself to go get it done okay. would you be happy with that I mean no, that's fine. it's like already approved we don't have to go through the bureaucracy and red tape again because exactly. it's already done closing down any streets so the car can That's run. kind of what they do. Oh yeah. So Karina, yeah. It, what you emailed me is bring Ciclavia and People Street to Van Nuys Course of Action, Outreach Flyers, Open Design Competition, and Choosing Location for Parklet. Do you want, do you want to put it on the agenda or you want to just go ahead and... Shit. Okay. So the motion would be to adopt your language as is. I would have no... Mm -hmm. the location of the we have two sites that are being considered at this yeah. point in time. Um, I did present it to Larry and there's... And What's the site? Uh, one's uh, um, Tommy's, since it's open 24 hours on Vesper and... And uh, Victory? Yeah. yeah. The sidewalk would have to be completely repaired though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really bad uh, over there. And she said that it would be no problem. Okay. She could fix it. Okay. Oh, did she? Are they going to offer any hamburgers and stuff? Uh, no. Big discount. I, they got good burgers. I like those. Uh, yeah. The, that's about the, one of the breakfast burrito at Tommy's is amazing. <laughs> oh, okay. That's, that's no joke. I've, I've had it many times. Yes. Oh, regarding Tommy's, you, you'd have to fix the sidewalks. Yeah, yeah that the big tree over there. Pigeons, oh, oh, yeah, it's yeah, really bad. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's too bad we can't use it on Ro where, where Roscoe. To be uh, just north of Van Nuys Boulevard. Oh yeah, that's out of our area. Huh? On the uh, west side of the street. Didn't your family own that, Howard? I didn't. They I did not. I see the pigeons and the bicycle. Okay. They did. Right. They did, that. They did own that vehicle. So the <laughs> the motion that we're discussing and uh, potentially putting on the agenda is Carino's exact language of bring Ciclavia and People Street to Van Nuys. Um, with uh, adding at the end and possible sites. We'll, we'll have to... For Parklet. For Parklet. We'll have to talk about the sites. Yeah. So uh, that's the motion. Do I have a second? Seconded. All right, with that, uh, I call for the vote, Mr. Secretary. President Thomas? Yes. Vice President Benjamin? Yes. Treasurer Hawk? Aye. Secretary Hendry, aye. Mr. Wilson? Aye. Bye -bye. Very good. Mr. Vice President, what did you have for the agenda? I have three things for the agenda. Oh, All right. my God, oh. we're going to be at midnight two. again. All right, I'd like to uh, introduce, is it Delina? Delina. Delina. Uh, Delina is with uh, the Vista oh. Community <laughs> Health uh, Center, uh, and you're located in Valley Press? In Silmar. In Silmar. Right. Okay. Um, uh, if you can give a little uh, talk on, on what you're doing there, how many people you serve, uh, that kind of thing. Um, come on up to the, to the podium. And they're requesting funding? Yeah. There's no money. Okay. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. First of all, thank you so much for inviting me to your meeting. Vista Community Health Center is a fairly new community clinic that's been open in Selmar. And it's, it's a, the result of a dream. As a foster parent, 
I was yeah. very insulted when I had to take my foster kids to a lot of these community clinics because that's the only place that would accept Medi-Cal. And I was very insulted because of the kind of place that I had to take them. I, sometimes I didn't even want to sit on the chairs sometimes. And so because of that, I had this idea, I'm going to open a clinic. We can. And even if you cannot afford health care, yes. you should be treated with respect. Exactly. We can. And that's the basis of VISTA. VISTA is a place where you, you're supposed to go and leave people. there feeling like something happened. And that's our goal. We are working for the community. Unfortunately, it's all been out of pocket. And as you well know, that can go but so far. But as it stands right now, we are struggling, but we are moving, we're standing, and we're working hard because we want to bring quality and services to the community. One of the big things that we are working on right now is our second annual back to school. And last year, we gave a lot of giveaways to the kids. We gave out shoes, backpacks. We gave out gift certificates to our college grads, to our college students. And so like the, the goal, without going too far, is to reach out to the community, provide education, provide services, and that's what we're all about. We have a few residents, a few patients from Van Nuys. And we have patients from Arlita. So we're not just limited to Silmar. We are trying to reach out to people who have a need, people who do not have access to health care. We try not to turn away anyone. And our goal is always to serve the community. And that's what we're all about. And so Mr. Berman was kind enough to invite us because you know we want to work for the community. And it, any help that we can get is you we're more than way. welcome. Let, let me let me just. Mr. Benjamin, you, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, everything has come out of her pocket at this right. point in time. She has self-funded this entire organization. Uh, there's eight permanent staff members, eight or nine. We we have about eight, actually two paid, and most everybody else is volunteers. And they have and a, a, a doctor that's on staff. Howard. Uh, Volunteer. Howard. Um, I heard her say that she does have a few patients in Van Nuys, but according to our bylaws, we have to be helping entities in Van Nuys. Um, there are a few exceptions, but I would like to ask, have you gone and tried to talk to your Silmar Neighborhood Council? We have sent out letters. You haven't talked to them yet? But we haven't. We have okay. spoken to them, but not on an official level. We have met with them at different occasions. And of course, everybody's saying there's no budget, there's nothing available. Right, but that should be your first point of, of origin because that okay. is your neighborhood council and it is in their bylaws and they must try to help you if they have any money. And trust me, if they don't now, they're going to soon because we're all going to get a new budget July 1st. Okay. So I have to tell you, that is what I would recommend you do first mm -hmm. and then we could see if we could do it. But I have to tell you, our bylaws prohibit us from going and helping people far out of our neighborhood neighborhood because um, the the rule of thumb is if if we're in Van Nuys we're supposed to help people in Van Nuys right and not just a few yeah. as many as possible so that's the only problem to Valley Press. yes we do Valley that's Press is one Van of Nuys. the hospitals that we are affiliated with and as a matter of fact they were one of the first hospitals that was open to accepting it's not receiving our patients oh hold on a minute Oh, crumb. Okay, now that that's the, there's a monkey wrench in the works too. She's nonprofit, but if the hospital isn't, which it isn't, then that doesn't help us either. It has to be a nonprofit agency. We can't nonprofit agency. Right. Yeah. So we can't. Yeah, so I'm trying to say I don't want to get in trouble because we're already, you know. We'll in yeah. You know, let's look into it. See okay. How we can what we can do and if it is in this funding cycle maybe we can work on it for and that's great thank you even if you cannot do anything at least we're getting the word out because we do not limit ourselves to Silmar, Pacoima you know we are open to accepting anyone who requires our service that and that's what it's about because it's about helping people and that's what we're all about 
Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for thank, thank you for coming, uh, Maria. Yes, ma'am. We didn't. It was no. It, no. it was the food pantry, and they were going to try to get it. And then after I went and spoke to them and told them what the rules were and that there could be an audit, suddenly they withdrew for the second time. So no, we didn't fund them. If you have a business card, so that way the people yeah. on the board, it's, it's, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Do you have a business card so that way the people on the board? Example, if Howard and I just want Damn to come do a walk around, if we may have a whole bunch of cans, a whole bunch of papers, something that we, just as people, not as Van Nuys Member Council, might just want to know, else maybe, we may have Howard's gone. Two more things. Oh. One more thing. You just know one. that that could do something to help the people. Why not? You know you're here. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, oh. we will figure out a way to work I with do. you. We can't necessarily. Yeah. I really seriously don't want to get I will going. email you tonight as to uh, next Wednesday at 7 okay. o'clock in that room in there. Okay. Uh, and, and even if you're just presenting, just to tell right. the entire board what you're up to, what you're trying to exactly. achieve. Exactly. That it spreads the word. And we might be able to put you in touch with other groups that can help you if we can't. Because I really, we've, we've had a lot of scrutiny lately. We've been audited. And they're really very strict on what we can and what we can't do. And the gentleman sitting here can tell you that that's the truth. Because he's one of the ones that goes after us when we don't do it right. So it's not that we don't want to. It's that we cannot. Yeah. All right. I got one final thing. Um, Karina and I talked with GoDaddy. We switched over. Our new uh, website is live, and it is uh, looking really good. Thanks. Pretty to sharp. And pretty his, sharp yeah, looking. His artistic eye and fingers. Uh, nice. So uh, good work here. Did did, uh, did a, a, a yeoman's job on the thing. Just updated. When we spoke with them, we were informed that uh, uh, it's not. Not the email blasts, but our emails. Your email is now set up as Kathleen.Padden at VNNC.org. Each one of us has that same kind of email. I'm Howard.Benjamin at VNNC. Those emails need to be renewed as of the 30th of this the month. Same thing. Mm -hmm. That and already did that. We did that for the entire blast. Oh, now that's the, but not uh, just for us. That's 10,000 names. Oh, my God. We're gonna I've never this. heard of emails not being included. Yeah. In that, the way Richard of, had it uh, done, it was. Web hosting. But uh, mm -hmm. that's the way it is with GoDaddy. So um, they are going to need about $200, but I put down 225 Okay. Not to exceed two hundred and twenty-five dollars. Yes. You have a coupon? I don't have a coupon. He does. They okay. they they already gave me a discount on it. That's it nice. was. You can still bring them more. I actually asked them, and they said unless it's new business rather than the, I, renewal. I'm, I'm up their VIP. Their VIP. It's renewal. I think uh, I went for thirty percent. All right. Oh, well, we can we can when, try. When do you plan to? Uh, we, as soon as we can get this money funded, if Jeanette would have been available on Friday, we would have we would have pulled the trigger then. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. If you want to just email me tonight or whenever, as soon as you can. I've got to get Jeanette on the phone. We've got to get this Why thing. I've had my phone off because I've been at the oh, budget no. and finance. No, no, I mean, I've been at the budget and finance committee meeting for the last week plus. No, he's not and faulting you. And you can't have it on. He's so just so you know, I, I just say no. Yeah, I can't talk to you. I'm just, I can't we talk to you. We probably could do it online, but I, I, I just. Because then you can just put the promotional code in. I know. We can try. Okay. All right. Well, but if you can send that to me tonight, um, and then it's got to come up for vote for the council anyhow Why next did you Wednesday. Names? Oh, did you add no, it's more? no, it's only it's all the twenty five names uh, on on. Oh, you're not talking about the blast. Oh, you're not the blast. About I'm talking about our localized v vnnc oh, okay. dot org. And it's for thirty email boxes, right? Yes. Oh, okay. 
That's a lot of money. Know, it, it, it seems ridiculous because uh, when you think about it, the email should be free. Here for two hundred and twenty something dollars. Yeah, it was two hundred and fifty nine dollars. We already got it down to two hundred. Yeah, and and usually when you and do Richard post, did wonders. They also include uh, the email uh, email accounts that you could you could create. Yeah. So, I think that we need to talk to somebody else there, and, uh -huh. and we're going to do a couple of more changes, hopefully this week, anyhow. Um, so, uh, depending on your availability, uh, and and as soon as we can get a vote on it, I mean, obviously this has got to be voted on by the council. Well, I think we should put it on the agenda yes, and vote on it. But whatever you can come up with between now and nine days from now to get them to just yeah. I mean, we'll it, work on it. Yeah, we'll work on it. So the language is uh, uh, email uh, for VNNC board members renewal, not to exceed two hundred twenty-five dollars uh, to GoDaddy. All right, I as I make the motion that we adopt the language uh, funding for email. For VNNC board members, uh, renewal not to exceed, GoDaddy renewal not to exceed 225. Second. All right, Mr. Yeah, Secretary, I call for the vote. Yes. We're going to be sold yes. for the budget. It ain't funny. Treasurer Hoff? Aye. I still think Richard did a better job, but okay. Aye. <laughs> Very good. Do, uh, does anybody else have anything else for the agenda? God, no. We're already having a huge. We're going to be out of there at midnight again. Fantastic. Uh, public comment. Anyone for public comment? Maria. I have a question. Okay, now I'm sorry if I keep going back to this, but it's I'm exhausted. Um, so, you talking about kicking people out that's going on. No problem. Now, I'm a person in the audience. We're back to the three strikes thing. Which is not a problem. But, example, George and I are dating, and now he, he's just kicking on me. And he, he cussed at me. He's right. <laughs> George cussed at me, and I respond back or something like that. So now George is going to smarty pants. I mean, what happens when it is counting? Member oh, against oh, member. Oh. What happens then? When no, cussing, when oh. issues. no such thing. Yeah, I'm dating, no such I'm, thing. I'm looking at Richard, huh? I'll be the referee. No such <laughs> thing. So it does the same. Don't be getting turned. I don't. Out, right? I don't think. I think it applies to no matter who it is, whether it's stakeholder or board member. Yeah. The code of civility is a code of civility. Absolutely. Better not tell his wife. And it makes it permanent <laughs> when they get kicked out. It's not for not see you three months or a month or thirty days. Mm. Okay. Sure, we'll make it a year? For a group that comes in here and they're all full of hostilities and we had them and full of hostilities. They were, they took over our meetings for damn near a year. That's the group that loves Kathleen. They love her. I think they feel the same way about Jeanette. Hey! Hey, Jeanette Jeanette too. Hey, excuse me? Exactly no, we were concerned what about it. Oh. Yes, but we need yeah. to establish precedent for this, and we can't just like make it yeah, up and be like, okay, you get out of the room. Me. And okay, we want to go from, off of what the city of LA does. It would start from today. It would start from when we adopt it next yeah. Wednesday. I, I got a new one for you. 50 cars. Yeah. Maria, you're out of line. You're out of here. 50 cars went whizzing past my house for the last week, virtually every night, somewhere between midnight and 2 a.m., gunning their engines and hauling ass up the street. And I wish I had a camera out there to take pictures of them because I willing to, I would be willing to bet you if I ran those license plates, uh, they probably live in Sherman Oaks. And, and how did they find out where I live? Well, let me see now. Candido knew because he came by my house to pick up paperwork. Um, Derek knows and uh, Maria knows, I think, too. So Maria wouldn't do that. I don't know if Derek would or not, but I know they would. I don't think it's Derek's style. I don't know. I'm sure, sir. Just a, a comment, on, like a point of order, the way that the board is going to proceed. I want to make sure that you check and establish that all the members who vote on money items are 
are in good standing. Trained, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. Trained. Yeah. 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 trained. Well, they have to have done the funding it's training. It's very and, uh, shady and fuzzy the way it was operating since last September. Mm -hmm. Well, at present. We're not compliant. Yeah, a few I think everyone was compliant but Camara. Yes. And it was so we still had enough well, votes. One more, I think. Maria. Yeah, Verouge. We got to get you. But Taylor's been gone for a long time and whoever the and and uh, Verouge, but the but we had enough votes legitimately to pass things though. Currently on the board not counting uh Kathleen. Kathleen. Um and uh, not Mr. Lynn. Mr. Lynn. Is, uh, is John Camara, who says that he took the funding training. But well, somehow the uh, city doesn't know about it. But, yeah. So we're not going to The only other vote. person is, is John Hendry, who we know took the training yes. and didn't hit the button saying send. Okay. On the video. And, and additionally, oh. <laughs> uh, sure that the people who say they we're represent a religious institution or a community organization, or is it a community nonprofit organization? Indeed, have the authorization of that organization, yes. or church, or religious institution to be represented. Thank you very much. That's also been very nebulous. And, yeah. Uh, oh, we have Kathleen's. No, you're absolutely right. <laughs> stakeholder. Right. Then I see. I'll correct myself. I said at the one meeting that that Kathleen had been a, a parishioner for over 40 years. She corrected me and said 53 years, and she did have a letter from the pastor. Yeah. We, we do need, I mean, if, if someone is uh, a member of a nonprofit or if someone is representing a religious organization, this council should demand that that person is in good standings with that 501c3 yeah, we, we know that and Candy that religious is religious organization them. Well, and that they are representing them in truth, right. not not yeah. in fiction. I know, and he was suing the very organization he said to represent. I believe you. Well, well, how, how can they throw we? you out? That's it. And they ate up all the bets. They just. Does uh, anybody else have anything for public comment? Yeah. Okay, Donna and Mr. Happy Hendry. Mother's, happy Mother's Day. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yes. Yeah, my son yes. says, yeah, your mother. Yes. I mean them. Um, <laughs> anyway, I was very happy to hear from uh, yes. Mrs. Hop about uh, about the banking and the overtime. She said it's just right, so now that everybody knows. Uh, uh, anyway, I think that's a terrible thing to do. You can't have a bunch of banking of overtime uh, and then get a whole bunch of money later on because that's going to make it that... Uh, that's going to hurt a lot of city employees, so mm. I'm glad to see that she's against that. And I'm hoping that we don't have the street vendors. I'm sorry. I mean, I'd like to see some regulations, but I don't want to see a whole bunch of new street vendors going all over the place and, and other vendors selling items, crowding up the sidewalks uh, so that people can't get around. And so far, the revenue the ADA on the too. Yeah, and uh, that's against the ADA. And uh, coming up with silly type of businesses that are really, uh, when we really should have real jobs, they come up with these silly jobs that are just like fly by nights mm. instead of, so they can say that, that we got new jobs out there, see all these people that are working. And they makes it look like it's in, and of course we want to bring back Van Nuys video conference. Still kind of working with that, and I want to work with George right. to see what place we can go next. Thank Very you, good. Donna. Thank you. And Mr. Hendry. And, and then we got to do. This. And don't forget on Saturday, do one of those things for the community. The letter carriers will be out collecting. Your mailman will be out collecting Our food line. cans on Saturday. It's a good. Oh, cause. I don't have it. Good, but I have to get some. A whole panel truck of food. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Just do it. Your mailman won't lie. Give him a can of, give him a little bottle of water. He'll love you for that. Oh yeah. And also get some we'll supervisors out to do something. We All right. It. Oh, I like that. All right. Okay. All right. And and one final we'll, announcement. One we, final announcement. We have to get done to update this list. Yes. And this list you has to, to be updated. I'll, I'll do this. Do I'm yeah. doing this Who's first. Who's in charge of that? Who who is that? A, a, downtown. A, yeah. Is it? Yeah. But yeah. but. Yeah. 
I don't know. That the, notification. I don't charge it is downtown. This? About all of this. The board Take off all the people, they're not in it anymore. Um, it's just completely out of it. Up. I can ask them when I go down there. I'm Perfect, there do that. Wednesday, so you're gonna and do I will this, ask. Right? I am, I'm going to do that. Yes. Exactly. All right, because it's completely out of date. That's yeah, smart. Is, yes, I'll do that. I will ask her. I will all right. Different color, too. All right. Ooh. Like whoever's on the side. I know, you think you're right. It's my honor and privilege to adjourn this meeting. I second it. <laughs> I second oh, yeah, the adjournment. So yeah, happy Israeli Independence. <laughs> what is it? Uh, Israeli Independence oh, Day. Oh, Israeli Independence Day. Israeli Independence Day. I didn't know that. Tonight. 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 Yeah, oh, I forgot to uh, light the candle. Uh oh. Uh -oh.